Well, hey kids, hey parents, I hope that you, your Sunday is going well and that it's a day that you're thinking about the Lord and His goodness to us. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to put up here on the screen that I'm going to draw your attention to for this Sunday, the 24th, and for the 31st. So, Watermelon in the Park, after prayer and praise, and the Minute to Win It Challenge. I'm going to invite a friend to that, and it's a great way for us to reach out to people who don't know Jesus and to get them around people who do so they can see our love for one another and our love for them, and we have a good time together. So, I hope to see to those at those. Now, today, in our as we keep going through the Bible, we're continuing to talk about King David. And in 2 Samuel 11 and 12, we see about even though David had done a lot of great things, he had trusted God, he had obeyed God, he really messed up bad. See, David took another man's wife and treated her like it was his own wife. And then to cover that up, he had the guy killed. So he went from something bad to something even worse. And God came and confronted him uh, uh, through his prophet, Nathan. And now David could have said, well, you know, being king is hard. And what about that person? What about that one? That that guy did was worse. He didn't do that, though. He didn't try to, to justify himself, to put himself in the right. He confessed his sin to God, and, and he turned from it. See, David had a problem just like you and me. He, got, he had sin in his life. He was a sinner. He, because he was a sinner, he sinned. And this was a bad way that it came out. And, and you and I have the same issue. Now, this, you can see it's big, and it's just it's not pretty to look at. Sin is like that. Now, sin is something, if this, uh, if this was here for just weeks and weeks, it would just be stuck to the board. And that's the way we were born into this world with sin. But because of that, the, the longer we stay in it, the more of a hold that it has on us. And the longer that this stays there, the harder it is. And you have to really work to get it off. But see, sin, I, I can find a way to get this off. In our life, though, in our heart, we don't. We can't find a tool. We can't do. We can go to therapy or talk to this person. So what if I just speak to it? All right, p- come off, sin. That won't work. What if I got this eraser here? I'm, I'm going to work hard. Well, I mean, I, I got a, some spots, but I need something else. So see this bottle. I don't know if you can read it or not, but it says Jesus. Now, you guys know Jesus is not in the bottle. He's not the bottle. It's a picture, okay? So let's spray this and see what we got. just like that. See, Jesus came from David's family. He's David's son, great, 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 great grandson. But he came and he fixed, he fixes what we can. He sends his spirit to change us. The Bible tells us if we confess our sin, not trying to justify ourselves, well, the reason it was, it was okay for me to do that is because of this. No, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and he's just to forgive us and to cleanse us, to clean us up from all our unrighteousness. So that's something for you guys to talk about as a family. Where is there sin in your life? And what kind of hold does it have on you? And how do you need Jesus to come and to forgive you and to clean you up and to change you? Talk about that together. Take God's word and apply it to those areas and ask the Lord for help because you can't do enough to get rid of it yourself. You need his help and he is willing and he is able. So talk about that and encourage each other with those truths today. I hope to see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.